And actually, no, when I took a look in there, there wasn't, there wasn't a thought. That was interesting. <laughs> right. So, and did you put any effort in stopping your mind? No. No. So it's effortless. The hmm. reason, the reason it works is because what I did was I simply help you bring your attention on the observer, the one, Terilyn, who's aware, not what she's aware of. Before your attention was on the thoughts moving and you weren't even aware of it. So you believe that's who you are because that's what you've been told from childhood. And everybody else acts the same way. So whatever you're thinking, you think that's who you are. And now you come and meet th this person is telling you, you're not your thoughts, you're the observer of your thoughts. Your thoughts come and go, but you don't. You're here and something is traveling in front of you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So you're simply bringing your attention back to the observer. You can call it higher self. You can, sell, you can call it yourself, you. Not what you're thinking and not what you're feeling either. Your, your emotions, they're passing through as well. Okay? Okay. You're the observer of your emotions because they come and go. And when you have, when you're depressed, you make a rep report. You say, oh my God, I'm depressed. Or I'm afraid, or I am happy, or I'm angry. So you identify with the emotion and you become that emotion. But if you shift your language to Depression, when you feel depressed, you say depression is being here, is being observed. And you feel it. But you said it's being observed. That means you're not it. You're noticing its presence is passing through. But you're not it. You're remaining who you are, which is the observer. And you're not identifying with anything. You're Thank simply, you. yeah, you're simply observing it. Same. When, you when you mentioned, uh, when you first started speaking and you said, just stop and look, like, for lack of a better word, just go back with, go within to the, I'd like to somewhat to merge, I don't know if that's a proper word, but to just look at the higher self, then all of a sudden, the stop the thoughts just seemed to just seem like they stopped. It felt kind of a sense of peace because yes, that was a refresh. That was quite refreshing. <laughs> yes, that that absolutely. Makes sense. Especially right now that that the collective mind is very agitated and it's it's very active. So, and with all the fear, worry, anxiety that is being pumped in the air. And uh, so the mind is very active all the time. It's exhausting. But the moment, see, I'm glad you brought this up. It's, it's super simple. You shift your attention from what, you're not trying to stop your thoughts, but from paying attention to them, you bring your attention to the source of your thoughts, inwards. And the moment you did that, you took a journey within and you went back to who you are. The observer, the one who's aware, the witness, the Buddha. She is sitting here like this. And she's not involved with what she's observing. She's simply aware of thoughts. And she's simply aware of emotions come and go. 
the real you does not identify with them. It's simply aware of them. May make a report. Oh, sadness is here. Oh, anxiety is here. Fear is here. You hear that report by the mind. It will make a report to you. So if you remember who you are, then slowly you're going to see that they have no effect on you. They come and go. That's it. They've always been doing it. There's never been any other way. And they lose. The mind loses its grip. And you begin to feel free. Freedom comes. Peace comes back. Because peace is within us. It's here. It's in the absence of the thinking mind. When you shift from the world of the mind, which is chaos, it's all thoughts, blah, 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 blah. And you bring your attention inwards. And this is where the kingdom of heaven is. You come back to silence. It's quiet. Nothing's happening. It's very still as if you're in the middle of the desert and no one's around, or you're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Turquoise, beautiful, green, pristine water, very clear, very calm. You're on a boat in the middle of the ocean, getting sun, sunshine on your face, and there's nothing happening. That's how it feels. You come back to the center of yourself, which is absolutely silent. And this story of what's going on in the world right now, it's happening to make you find this place inside yourself. That's why we're in this situation for the spiritual warrior. We've been given this opportunity to discover this place inside ourselves, to find a real sanctuary and to discover our freedom, that you are free by discovering this place because no one and nothing can ever affect this place. This place is always here. Thank you. Yeah, so you're saying when you're observing, because I did attend your workshop at the Gateway, and when, and you can step, take a step back and uh, see the thoughts, just the movement of the various thoughts, but, and that is the observer watching them, but I like what you said in the beginning, just kind of take a, go a little bit deeper within because sometimes just even witnessing all those thoughts, maybe that is, kind of, if I'm not saying it properly, but it just, just witnessing so many of them just seems to rob me even somewhat of my peace because I'm witnessing the mind just keep bouncing from topic to topic to topic. Exactly. Yes. Yes, that's correct. At one point, enough is enough. Right. Then you bring your attention from the thoughts to the source of them. Mm. And then boom, bang, everything is silent. 